I was talking, I was chatting with my brother on uh, Gmail chat, and uh, the subject of Inspector Gadget came up because sure. my brother <laughs> this is off topic is <laughs> as obsessed with childish things as I am, and he's older than I am. But uh, he was talking about how you know. He, so you figure as long as he's doing it, it's okay for you too. Yeah, yeah. As long as the as long as we maintain the same re- relationship between our ages, it's as, fine. Hey, one of you better not go into space. Yeah. Uh, but uh, bring back a bunch of space books. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you should do yeah, that. And astro I shoes. Spoke. Yeah. <laughs> but my brother brought up uh, how much he had always liked the, the score to Inspector Gadget, and that. You know, I had waves of nostalgia come over me. I go to YouTube. I look at some Inspector Gadget related uh, videos on YouTube. Porn. And I scroll down to the comments section. And one comment on you, on one of the Inspector Gadget related videos catches my eye. And it simply says, what if Penny met a dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> and there was, in all like small letters, there was something sort of plaintive about it that caught my eye. Like I found this. Particularly beguiling. Just someone Is there anybody listening to me here? <laughs> what if? What if? To make I'm my so, what if Penny met a dinosaur? My message in a bottle. <laughs> a question that will never be answered by Canonical Inspector Gadget. Certainly not by Deke, the animation <laughs> studio that did Inspector Gadget. So I post about this actually on Facebook, <laughs> <Dork>. and and <laughs> I post about the what if Penny met a dinosaur. Uh, comment on facebook and this 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 uh, a firestorm of inspector gadget commentary erupts but uh my friend kelly says you know like that she thinks that if you plugged the phrase what if penny met a dinosaur into uh the internet then you would reach the end of the internet and i and so i actually google this you know i google what if penny met a dinosaur Your job really <laughs> absorbs you <Yeah. laughs> you get full satisfaction from it and i find uh i find well, there's a point when a job becomes a career really <laughs> called the terminus s if you will <laughs> so uh, following this this train you know it's like all the president's men i'm following the money but i'm following you're following what if, the you're following the penny yeah, following yeah the, the money penny. train so <laughs> i click on another link that google coughs up for mention? me and it is uh, it appears to be some sort of bondage inflected uh illustration of an older penny <laughs> Um, you know, I, uh, what, what's the, what's the rule? Uh, if it exists, there's pornography relating to it. Uh, it's like a rule 34. Yeah, I think Socrates I think came the, up with that. No, this is like, this is like an internet meme. Oh. Like if it exists, there's pornography. Like, so, but there's a bondage themed photo and I scroll down like wondering like why. a photo or a. <laughs> yeah, not a photo. Sorry. <laughs> it's an illustration. It's a, it's a cartoon that so someone. So what drawing style? Like Ashcan school or what? You know, sure. I don't know. It's an older penny tied up. <laughs> great to- great but tale. I scroll down to Color? the comment section of this. <laughs> because, of course, this has comments And as in well. the comments, someone says, <laughs> what if Penny met a dinosaur? <laughs> so what you thought was a kind of adorable, plaintive cry no. turns out was a request for bondage-themed possibly, bestiality possibly. penny porn. <laughs> so I go, I go back to the Google search. I click on the next one down. Same site. Uh, a less... Disturbing picture illustration of Penny. Oh, but I scroll goodness. down. She's doing better. I scroll down and uh, again, what if Penny met a dinosaur? <laughs> so now I am intrigued by this guy. I click on this guy's. You user. are bordering dangerously close to an obsession that will lead you into a web of deceit <laughs> and seduction. <laughs> it's going to lead me to fear dot com. Yeah. No, I, no cl- I like the seduction angle. <laughs> so I click on this guy's username. And I find, like, this... Uh, I, Love right. Games, <laughs> starring Dan. I, I click on this guy's username, and I get this message that says, this user has been permanently banned from this site. Wow. <laughs> For, I assume, asking too much about Penny and this fucking dinosaur. Yeah. You asked the wrong questions. <laughs> you made thing. some powerful enemies on the Penny bondage site. He followed the money trail. Yeah. <laughs> So guys, I, I to me, I guess what you're saying is don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> <laughs> what I loved about this whole experience, though, was like peeling back the layers of the onion. There was always something. There's always something new to discover. <laughs> so, so are you plugging being a fucking kid detective? Like what? <laughs> and let's look at what you discovered. You discovered that there's an Inspector Gadget themed bondage porn site, and that someone has irritated the moderator of this site. <laughs> 
Fucking congratulations, dude. <laughs> you cracked it. Yeah. Your Super regular, salute McCoy over here. Regular Encyclopedia Brown. <laughs> you, Billy you, get the fu- you get the fucking key to the city. <laughs> key to the internet. Oh, it's too bad your dad, the police chief, can't tell anyone about his genius detective son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you guys just don't understand the beauty of what I've discovered. Because you know when you start turning over rocks, you're going to find some uh, find some snails. Yep, that's for sure. Yeah. It was a fitting story for this bad movie podcast. <laughs> but guys, seriously, I guess what I'm asking Oscars. is... I guess ultimately, though, what I'm asking is, what if Penny met a dinosaur? <laughs> because that commenter was me! Bum, bum, bum. Uh, yeah, I don't know what would happen. <laughs> What if Penny? I don't know. She'd I mean, probably get eaten by the dinosaur. Guys, depends on the kind of dinosaur. Yeah, well, a brontosaurus probably wouldn't eat her. Yeah, yeah, it would eat uh, veg- vegetables. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, vegetables. Unless like, unless she and fucking Brain were dressed up as like a tree or something. Yeah. Which who knows? One of Inspector Gadget's employees might have gotten made that happen. Yeah. Brain always had to hide in costumes yeah. because the Inspector- sight, of a, sight of a dog would uh, would destroy him. <laughs> and then Inspector Gadget would say. It's a mad agent. And then, then, then wacky hijinks would ensue, mm-hmm. guys. Yep. Remember? And Don Adams would deposit the check at <laughs> yep. his bank account and then go on to do some Wendy's commercials. Yeah, I see. <laughs> anyway, so that's my story. Whew. Well, it's not really your story. <laughs> <laughs> that was like. It's, it's part of like humanity's well, grander it's be my story. story when I write a screenplay about it. <laughs> that was like an H.P. Lovecraft story where someone's <laughs> reading through like journal entries left behind, except instead of a monster, it was the dumbest <laughs> question ever asked. What if Penny met a dinosaur has been sweeping the nation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rebecca Black has nothing on what if Penny met a dinosaur. So uh, these last two. <laughs> Uh, or about messages. What a petty metal dinosaur. Yeah, the shirt. first one says, <laughs> "Written by Dan to Dan." <laughs> <laughs> the first one is from Brendan, last name withheld, and he says, "So I googled what if Penny met a dinosaur, and the guy who made the comment on YouTube had just made the comment, would you touch April's boobs? You, <laughs> you, the letter U, on a video of April O'Neil from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I, I felt you should be updated." <laughs> So they're carrying on the tradition, the investigative tradition that I started. Good, I do want yeah. to point out that the person who wrote the letter's name was Brendan or Bren Dan. Oh, see, you gotta you gotta find the clues, put the pieces of the puzzle together. <laughs> so intricate, <laughs> worlds and worlds. It's like the Westing game. <laughs> okay, well this 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 is a Would similar. Would you touch April's boobs? Would you? What a ridiculous touch comment. <laughs> Well, that's why he put it on the internet for the entire world to see. Unless it's what he was saying. He was watching this clip from Ninja Turtles, and he's going, Would you just touch April's boobs already? (laughs) Come on, Raphael. I don't even know why he's doing that. Because, I mean... Come on, other reporter that works at the station. (laughs) Obviously, April... Krang. As an animated character... (laughs) Bebop, come on. (laughs) You're leaving money on the table here. You can see she wants it. (laughs) Rock said he'd be so upset. (laughs) Continue. No, I'm just as an animated character, you know, like obviously you can't. So, like in that context, it doesn't work. But he's saying is if 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 she was real, yeah, unless would it's you like touch Cool World or April's something. Boobs, and it, <laughs> if if you were in Cool World, then why wouldn't you? Yeah, like, you that's would. A, no, that's you would. Is the no, answer. So he's not. So he's not wondering why Baxter Stockman is not groping <laughs> April. I don't know. Maybe that was directed at us through the medium of YouTube comments. Maybe he knew that we would that we that we, it would be brought get, to our attention by Brendan that. last name with help. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good stuff. So this this last thing came in. <laughs> I want to know. I want to meet that guy. So bad. or not meet him, but I want to know who he is. So bad. Well, this this is another piece of the puzzle. This last thing oh. comes in from at unsupervised on Twitter. Uh, he sent a, mes- a direct message to us, or uh, he sent an at message at the Flophouse Pod. Uh, is that our Twitter presence? Yeah, that's our Twitter presence. And unsupervised says this goes even deeper than just Penny. And he sent a uh, Google search he had done uh, <laughs> with the words Meta Dinosaur and this gentleman's username. Mm-hmm. And so this gentleman also wants to know what would happen if these various characters, Meta Dinosaur, <laughs> Kermit, <laughs> Bob from Sesame Street, Zach Wheezy from Dragon Tales, I don't know what that is, Ernie and Bert, Arthur the Aardvark, Grover. Super Grover. <laughs> it's Grover and Super I hate to bring it. The news to everybody. What? Grover and Super Grover are the same Grover. It's just in. Spoiler Same alert. monster. Big Bird, Telly, Abby Cadabby, 
Buddy the dinosaur. That's sort of conceptual. Wait, that's, yeah. He's already a dinosaur. I don't know. I assume he met a dinosaur Why? when he was born. Or yeah. he met himself. Elmo. And then lastly, Roy G. Biv, the mnemonic to remember the hues <laughs> and the visible spectrum. <laughs> so. So every so I guess the internet is a buzz over what would happen if these characters met dinosaurs. <laughs> yep.